I've been more and more interested in the Turkish cuisine and I thought I'm just gonna share this with you by making a full day of eating only Turkish foods and for that I did some research and chose a few authentic recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner etc. Um, before breakfast I'm gonna have this black tea I've made and I wish you a lot of fun with the video. Let's make menemen. Menemen is a very very popular breakfast option in Turkey and it's super easy to make. So essentially you fry off an onion and some olive oil. I also added some garlic because I love garlic. <laughs> and then you add fresh tomatoes and one chili. I've also added some tomato paste and stirred it all around before I let it cook until the tomatoes were kind of soft. Usually you would stir in eggs but since I'm vegan I don't want to use eggs. So I decided to take silken tofu which also has this wobbly eggy texture. Then I simply seasoned it with some salt, pepper and a pinch of sugar and that was it basically. Alright, usually I never have savory breakfast but I'm open to new things so bon appetit! By the way I'm eating it with a simit. Some people say it's like a Turkish bagel but I think it's better. <laughs> mm. This is a 10 out of 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Lucky! Are you hungry? I don't know if he is, but I am, so I will make lunch. And this beautiful weather is making me crave craving something light and fresh, which is perfect because that's exactly how Turkish lunches usually are. I've always wanted to try chikhafta, but somehow I never did. So today is the day. You can either make them with meat or with bulgur. First, the chopping. Now in this bowl is my bulgur, so I will add the onion and garlic, my pureed tomatoes, a good spoonful of tomato paste, pepper, some salt to taste, and chili. I'm using this one. Now we have to add some water and we will need all that with our hands for quite some time. Apparently you gotta deserve your food. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> This is what it looks like after about 20 minutes of kneading and you can see the bulgur is really soft now. Now take some of that dough and slightly press it with your hand. And here it is! My first homemade chikhafta. I'm kind of proud. I know I can still work on that look but we are getting there. And let's bring this over. Oh hey Lucky! You wanna try? <laughs> eh, it's vegan! <laughs> and have this for lunch. Now, how do you eat this? So you take one leaf of lettuce, one of our beautiful chikhafta and place it, in, place it in the middle. Optionally add a squeeze of lemon and some more syrup. And the best step, take it <laughs> and eat it. Kind of spicy, kind of fresh, kind of tomatoey. Really good. <laughs> In Levante countries it's popular to snack on some dried fruit or nuts during the day because they grow there locally. So I've decided to make some medjool dates, not filled with peanut butter as I usually, usually do. I filled them with walnuts and had that as a little study snack. And I gotta say, this combination is really good and I think I will keep doing that. The dinner. It's the most elaborate meal in the Turkish cuisine, so I also wanted to make it something special. And here in Germany, Döner Kebab is extremely popular. So I did some research and found the godfather of Döner Kebab, which is Iskender Kebab. It consists of four main parts. First, the bread, which is slightly roasted. Then the meat, or I'm gonna use fake meat. A flavorsome tomato sauce and some yogurt on top. I've never made it before, so I'm really interested. Let's go. Use the amount of butter that will make your grandma happy. That means quite a lot. <laughs> Next up, tomato paste. Stir in tomato sauce. Just season to taste and that's it. The bread. Just make sure it's a thick and fluffy one. And cut it into cubes. Not too small, not too big, just right. Drizzle with oil. 
and bake until nicely browned. This is my fake meat. It smells good. The yogurt sauce should add some freshness to this whole dish. So I'm adding some fresh parsley, squeeze of lemon juice, garlic is essential, and salt and pepper. Here we go. It smells and looks absolutely amazing. And I'm super excited to try. <laughs> This is a really good combination. <laughs> the Turkish cuisine offers a lot of things for your sweet tooth. And actually I wanted to get some baklava, but unfortunately they didn't have any vegan baklava. So let's make sütlaç together. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> sütlaç is a traditional Turkish creamy rice pudding. And for that you'll use short grain rice, which I pre-cooked. Then I've added some plant milk, cornstarch to thicken it, some sugar and also a bit of fresh vanilla and cook this on medium heat until it's really nice and thick and creamy. This took me about 7 to 10 minutes. Then you fill it into ramekins and dust it with a little bit of cinnamon and now a very very important step, you'll broil the pudding in the oven until you see those black spots, that's what we want. After that you can put it in the fridge until you want to eat it and I gotta say this was super delicious and I highly highly recommend you trying it. <laughs> 